this is unit 11, lesson three. What this assignment is going to be dealing with is this assignment is going to be dealing with movements of the graph, things called transformations. Now, in the past two videos, we were talking about the amplitude and the period, and which are obviously very important uh, pieces of the puzzle. So, for example, if I gave you two sine um, one fourth x or something right 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 now all right what these numbers would be telling you is this would be the amplitude this would have an amplitude of two and this would help you identify the period the period would be two pi divided by this inside number so again, what this would indicate is a multiplication. So the period in this case would be eight pi. Again, so that just generally describes the height and the width of the graph. Okay, now there's other things that can be done to this equation. And that's what we need to talk about right here, right now is, and they're going to be pretty much be pluses and minuses. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a negative sign up front, okay? I'm going to be uh, putting on an addition, let's say plus three right there. Uh, actually, let me, let me make that a little bit different. Let's say one plus one pi right there. Just some sort of addition number. And then let's go with um, plus three at this very end. Okay, let's talk about the purple and the orange. Okay, notice how the, the purple is in the parentheses with the X. So this is what I kind of consider to be an X number. And what X's do is X's are side-to-side -side movements, okay? Just like the X-axis. X is a side-to-side. -side. If it's not in the parentheses with the X, like this plus three, I consider this to be a Y. And what a Y is, is an up and down movement. The statement that uh, kind of helps me remember what to do is, and I think you've heard this before, is the the x's lie, but not the y. All right, the x's lie, but not the y. What this is saying is this. You would think that, like a, a typical x direction, you would think that the right would be positive and the left would be negative. You would think, you know, go in a positive direction, negative direction. However, the X's are lying. In the X motion, you do the opposite. So if here we see this is plus one pi, all right? So pluses go in the opposite direction of what you would think. So what you're going to have to do is physically move the entire picture left one pi. That's what a plus one pi is indicated because the X is Y, but not the Y. So up is plus, down is minus. So this is straight up, up three. So this is left one pi and up three. The last thing that uh, we need to talk about is this outside negative. And this is a, uh, what is known as a reflection. It's a reflection across the midline. So what, what I'm saying is this. All right, so say, say we move this picture where it's supposed to move, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All right, and so what a sine graph is supposed to look like is this, where it goes up and then it goes down. Since this has a reflection, it, do, it looks the same, but instead of going up, you go down. All right. 
So you go down, so it's opposite. So whatever was up is now down. Whatever was down is now up. All right, so that's what uh, a reflection does. That's what a reflection does. All right, so whatever was up is now down. Whatever's down is now up. So, and here's the general game plan of getting all of this. So let's say that this is our equation. How the heck do we graph this? All right, how the heck do we graph this? All right, so the first thing that we're going to do is any up and down and left and right motion. So that means the first things that we do are these pluses and minuses at the end. So that means we're going to move this thing left one pi. Okay, we're going to move this thing left one pi. And then we are going to move it up three. So this is kind of, I, I kind of think of this as this is kind of like the new origin. That's kind of like the new origin. So think of that as now kind of being this middle of everything. All right, from here, we go ahead and establish what our picture is going to look like. So the first thing that I know is that this thing is going to have a period of eight pi. So from our, our kind of tentative new origin, okay, this is going to have a length of eight pi. So one would take us to the zero, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pi. This is where it's going to end. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes. Oh, shoot, that, that would be at uh, 8 pi. I'm sorry. This would technically be at 7 pi. I, that's where my brain was getting mixed up. All right, that would technically be at 7 pi because we began at negative 1 pi. We began at 1 pi to the left. But this would technically be 5 pi, and this would be 1 pi. All right, so what a sign looks like is it begins in the middle, it ends in the middle, and the middle is in the middle. And okay, so I know that. Okay. And so notice how the grand period is 2 pi, starting from our new motion. All right, so I, I create, in essence, the picture that I kind of want. All right, now would be a very prudent time to recognize uh, the amplitude. So the amplitude is two. So that means from the midline is going to go up two and down two. So that is kind of making the top floor up here and the bottom floor down here. So that's the top and the bottom. So the top technically, or excuse me, the bottom is technically at one. The top is technically at two, three, four, five, at five. <clears throat> because we moved it up three, and then it has a height of two on top of that. All right. Now, typically, we go up and then down. But because this has a reflection, it's going to go down and then up. There's our picture. Before we move on from this, there's one thing that they bring up, and I think it's actually question number one. They ask for these letters known as A, H, and K. A, H, and K. Okay. 
the letter A that they speak of is this front number, and it includes the sign on it. All right. H. H is this um, number right here, and it'll be opposite of what it looks. So if this is a plus, it's going to be a minus. And this last number is just straight up K. All right. So I do this H. It'll be opposite sign, opposite sign. All right. So uh, in this situation, A is negative 2, H is negative 1 pi, K is positive 3. A, H, and K, they are the numbers exactly that H is going to be opposite, just like the X is Y kind of idea. Okay, here we go. So here they give us this equation that is uh, cosine x minus 3. Now, they're asking for a, h, and k. So I'll fill in some missing numbers. If some of these numbers aren't present, Okay, if some of the numbers don't exist, like I'll just write a blank cosine of three. If I just have y is equal to cosine x, okay, missing numbers are one plus zero and plus zero. All right, that's when there's missing pieces uh, involved. And so if I have to identify an a, h, and k, that that's pretty easy, all right, if you know what the missing numbers are. Here there are a couple missing numbers, so I'll fill in those respective missing pieces, and so I see that the A is equal to 1, the H is equal to 0, and the K is equal to negative 3. Again, if this were legit a number, it has to be opposite. So technically, this is like a negative zero. But again, when it's zero, there really is no such thing as a negative zero. But, but it's always opposite of what it is. All right, here we have g of x is equal to 2 cosine x uh, plus 1. So I have a missing zero right there. So I see that the A is 2, the H, is, again, is 0, and the K is positive 1. All right. Describe the transformation. So from a basic, basic cosine, what was done differently to create this? Okay. And so the numbers that we have to obviously address is this positive pi over 4. And we also have to address the, uh, the minus 2. Okay, Those are the two numbers that we have to address. Let me kind of write this a little bit larger. And um, so what I see, okay, this is uh, the pi over 4 is an x. The plus is lying to me. So you would think right, but this is technically a left. So this is left pi over 4. So the x is lying, but not the y. This is down 2. And this is straight up how I describe my transformations. I think technically on the assignment or on the test, you'll, you'll, it'll be described as quote unquote left pi over 4 and down 2, but I understand uh, arrows pretty easily, so 
I, I like arrows. It's left, pi over four, and down two. But uh, again, when you're filling out the actual assignment, you may want to know the words. All right, turning a sign into the sign. Uh, so right, right now, sign plus pi over two plus three. So the x is y, so this is a left, and not the y, that's an up. So that describes the transformations. If there was a negative on here, if there was a negative and we need to describe the transformation, my symbol for that is that. Uh, again, what this is going to be described as is a quote unquote reflection. Okay, a reflection. They'll, they'll say it wrong and they'll say it's across the x axis. It's not across the x axis, it's technically across the midline. Um, but uh, it, it's described, just look for the word reflection and you'll be all good. If there were a negative, like there's no negative in this actual problem. So that's how I describe it. Okay, write the equation of the graph after a translation up. Okay, so what we do is we begin with the equation that they present us right right now. And then we have to take their transformations into account. So we need to go up eight units. Where that would happen is at this very end, it would be plus eight. And we need to move to the left, so that's opposite, to pi. All right, now why am I writing it below the equation right here? Well, because, again, let, let, so let, let me get the final answer here first. So three cosine two x plus two pi plus eight. All right, technically, if there were numbers already here, I would have to add two pi and eight to whatever that particular number happens to be. So if the, there was like, you know, a negative five that already existed at this very back end, if that was already there, okay, then my final result would be a plus three. So I'm just physically adding eight to this negative five. If there was already a plus, you know, three pi right here, there is already a plus three pi, then this would be five pi in my final answer. So if there were numbers already there, then I just add to it or subtract from it, whatever the case may be. So that kind of why that was left. Okay, so here they give us an f of x, which is 6 sine 1 over 2x. We need to go left pi, so that's going to be plus 1 pi, left pi, and a reflection, so that's going to be an outside negative. So left pi and a reflection. So my final result would be negative 6 sine one half x plus one pi. So that moved left one pi and a reflection on top of what was already there. Okay, write a cosine graph. Amplitude of one, period of uh, two pi, and then then we have these transformations on top of it. Okay, so here we go, let's get started. So y is equal to cosine. All 
All right, so amplitude of one is going to have a one out front. Period of 20 pi. So the inside number is 2 pi divided by uh, the period. So what I notice is the pi's cancel out and it leaves me with 2 over 20, or aka 1 over 10. So the inside number is going to be 1 over 10. Then I have a horizontal, that's a side to side, that's an x shift of negative 4. That, that's the same thing as saying it's going left 4 going left four. Okay, so that means this is going to be a plus four on this inside horizontal shift. So it'll be a plus four in there. Now on the answer, you're not going to see that one right there. Right? Ones and zeros don't really show up. Okay, so you're not going to see the one um, So y is equal to cosine one tenth x plus four is what you're going to see. Okay, here we have a cosine, amplitude, period, horizontal of negative two. Again, that means left two. All right, so y is equal to cosine x amplitude of 3, period. So the inside number is 2 pi divided by the period. <clears throat> so pi's cancel out pi's. 2 over 4 is 1 over 2. And a horizontal shift of left. Two, so that would be a plus two. The x is y. X is y, so it's a plus two. X is y, but not y. What is the period of the graph? Um, so it kind of looks like it starts in the middle. So here's kind of like our, our midline kind of concept right here. That's the middle, and it starts to repeat itself like as in going down into the down into the right um, so it repeats itself right there so if this is one pi this is one two three four five six six pi all right what is the graph of this <clears throat> All right, so first and foremost, what I notice about this picture is it starts in the middle and ends in the middle. Okay, it starts in the middle, it ends in the middle. So the first thing that I notice is this is a sine graph. Okay, this is going to be a sine graph. It starts in the middle and ends in the middle. Okay, good to go. All right, next, let's take a look at the amplitude. So from the uh, line, it goes up one line. Each line is one. So this has an amplitude of one. So that really doesn't do anything to our equation. OK, I noticed that the period, the period, again, is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 pi. So that implies that the inside number is going to be 2 pi divided by the period. So the inside number is technically going to be 1 third. Now let's take a look at all the other stuff that is taking, taking place. OK, signs usually go up. This one's going down. So that means it flipped. OK, that means it flipped. And also, it's not right smack dab in the middle. It went down three to get to where it is. So there's a flip and a down three also involved. OK, let's put it all together.
All right, so we begin with sine. So y is equal to sine. Good place to start. Um, the inside number is going to be one third. All right. <clears throat> So the amplitude is one, but again, you're not going to see a front one, just like it is. You're not going to see a one. Okay, so what other things took place here is that there was a flip. So that's an outside negative. Okay, there's a flip and a down three. That's a Y, so that's an outside minus three. 